you know, when they first came out, they were like the best front wheel drive car made at the time, you know? So there's, there's a reason behind that. You don't really know what this car tends to, to have until you actually drive it. Don't get me wrong, it's not the fastest thing out there, but it, it definitely tends to put a smile on my face every single time. Once that crossover hits and the VTEC hits, man, it's like you open up a whole different monster, man. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure all these uh, Honda guys know exactly what I'm talking about. What's going on, guys? My name is Rafael Rivera. I'm owner of a 2000 Acura Integra Type R USDM spec called Phoenix Yellow. It only came in the USDM uh, Integra Type R. Um, for the JDM uh, cars, they got Sunburst. Um, S2000s got Rio, Spa. Same thing with NSX, I believe is Rio Spa. Um, the new Civic Type R, I believe that's Sunburst. So no other uh, Honda got the Phoenix Yellow. So it was, they pretty much like try to make this car as rare as possible. Um, not sure if you guys know, but the Integra Type R, there were only 3,800 made in the US compared to the JDM ones where there were like 28,000. The US, we only got four years of them, uh, which was 97, 98. They only came white those two years. Um, and then they skipped 99 and they came back and did the 2000, 2001, where they did the yellow and the black only, no white. The rarest one would be the 97, where I believe they only made like 300 of those. This was made uh, maybe 20, like 20 years ago, right? So you think about it, how many are really left? What, half that, 1,500, 1,000 if that? So um, there's a reason why they're selling for this, for the price they are nowadays, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a unicorn, it's a unicorn. I always wanted one of these cars. It's always been my dream car. Still to this day, it's still my dream car. I still, like, there's days where I'm like, wow, I, I really own an Integra Type Bar, you know? I still, I still can't believe it. It, it goes back to, to being young and, 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 and having a good friend of mine, uh, uh, rest in peace to my friend Albert, man. He was the one that brought me into to the whole racing scene and, and got me into Hondas. Um, and growing up in that environment, you just like, you just had to be there to understand, you know? Um, I wish I can explain exactly why, but it's something that just like you grow into. Um, it, it's something that you can't grow out of, that's for sure. I've owned it for about close to four years now. Um, didn't look anything like this when, uh, when I first got the car. Came with JDM front, um, some roto wheels and like a full carbon lip kit all the way around. Not my style. So I, I changed everything over. Um, uh, so I did the spoon look, did everything spoon on it, spoon wheels, spoon lip, did uh, red Recaros on it, bunch of stuff. That being that it's a USDM Type R, I just felt that correctly it would be proper to have a USDM front on the USDM Type R. So I went and um, I actually got fairly lucky. I found a, a USDM front end from another Type R locally and uh, picked it up, man, and, and, and slapped it on there. It's OEM, so you can't go wrong with OEM, you know what I'm saying? If everything fits properly. When you do buy authentic stuff, like, you know, um, for instance, the authentic ICB hood, at the end of the day, you're paying for, for something exclusive, something that you or maybe two or three other guys have, you know what I'm saying? So you. You like to stand out. I mean, I personally do at least. That's why I ended up with the car this way. I, I want to stand out. This is my style now where I evolved from being regular and doing spoon look. I mean, like I feel like everyone nowadays, that's what they tend to go with is spoon and not more of like, just do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like as the time went by, I just felt like I was just blending in into the crowd doing spoon, you know? I just went and started doing my own mods to it, like little things to like really make it my car, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and make it different from everyone else. I, I built a brand, um, Not Another Racer. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I'm not sure if everyone knows, but in the early days of imports, um, the older crowd, meaning muscle car guys and these uh, older guys, they tend to call JDM cars racers. Um, that was the term that, um, that just stuck with, uh, with imports. Um, so 
my brand is pretty much bringing the enthusiasts back into the picture where I want to um, prove to everyone that we're not ricers or I'm not a ricer or the guys that represent my brand, they're not ricers. You know, we're, we're enthusiasts is, is, is pretty much what I like to call us. But now these kids, man, they're reckless, putting their lives in danger for social media. I plan to change the new uh, generation. I plan to change the new generation, man. It's not about social media, man. Um, just forget social media and try to like do things to, to, to get likes. Um, your likes will come with you being yourself. Um, you build the car to your own liking. Stop trying to be like someone else. I learned that now, like people are, like I'm getting likes from people I, I, I didn't even know, like knew with me, you know what I'm saying? Like people I, I look up to. Um, now I'm getting the compliments with my car, building it the way I want. It's a message to just be yourself, man. Just be yourself and, and, and everything else will come into play. Be an enthusiast.